couple questions, and I was hoping you guys could help me out with them. The first question is, why does every single test analysis of every single field of biology indicate a nested hierarchy of life? That is to say, the tree of life format as opposed to the creation model. Here is a visual to help you out. Again, every field of biology and every single experiment confirms that this tree of life is the proper, most correct fit, and it completely contradicts your model. I guess going along these lines, why is it that we can take an organism based on its gene and genomic information, put it into its proper place in that tree of life, which is confirmed by every other independent source in biology? Now, the only answer that I've ever heard to this is same gene, same designer, which is a huge misunderstanding. It's not the similarities, it's not the differences, it's the combination of the two. Um, you can actually think of it as if it's a phone book or a dictionary. Just as you can take a word or name in the English language and place it into its proper place in the dictionary or phone book, you can do the same thing with an organism on the tree of life. Now, it's not just same English language has the same letters. That simply doesn't apply. And your argument of same gene, same designer doesn't apply for the same exact reason. Here's another question. Pneumatic bones... Okay, Don Exodus, that simply is not true. And you know what? If that were true, then that will prove evolution. Later in your video you ask what evidence will convince creationists that evolution is true. Well, at least me personally, I will accept that as evidence for evolution. If genomes were organized in a perfect nested hierarchy, as you claim in your video, then I will certainly become an evolutionist, because intelligent design cannot explain a, ne a, a perfect nested hierarchy. But, as I said, uh, that's not true. Uh, genes are not organized in a perfect nested hierarchy. There are many exceptions. And with exceptions, I mean genes that cannot be explained by evolution. They cannot be explained by common descent. And they don't fit the evolutionary tree predicted by evolution. My favorite example is birthstein. Birthstein is the name of the gene and the name of the protein that the gene codes for. This gene is present in all mammals. However, if you make comparative analysis with birthstein, then, according to the results, dolphins and bats appear to be more closely related than dolphins and whales. So, of course, this contradicts evolution, because evolution predicts the opposite. And keep in mind that this is just one of many examples. Uh, I mean, if you're planning to get away and, and say, well, that's only one exception, uh, we can deal with it, well, no. Uh, there are countless exceptions. There are countless genes that cannot be explained with common descent. I'm going to post a few links in the description box if you're interested in more examples. And keep in mind that there is plenty of scientific lit literature that deals with this. I mean, even Talk Origins has an article admitting that genes do not form a perfect nested hierarchy. I mean, Doc Origins uh, provides a, a whole bunch of excuses, but the main point here is that at least they admit that genes are not organized in a perfect nested hierarchy. So, um, have a nice day.